Hey everybody, it's Janice with Creating Through Chaos. I'm going to start this project off with this piece of scrap wood that I found out in my mother's backyard. And I am going to paint the whole thing with a color called Vintage. It's chalk paint and it's basically just like a, a robin's egg blue color. I did the whole piece of wood. So I did the front, the back, the sides, all of the edges. And I ended up doing two coats just to make sure that it was fully covered. So once I had it all painted, I'm just going to sand off the edges and then I am going to sand just slightly across the front of it, just kind of grazing it, pulling some of that wood back through, but not all of it. Once it's all sanded, I took a piece of muslin and cut it down to size, well actually I tore it down to size to fit the very front of the wood block. And then I'm going to take these stamps that I got from IOD and I'm going to use my ink pad and I'm going to stamp the rabbit onto the front of the muslin. So I'm just taking my stamp pad and inking my stamp, making sure that I don't get any on the cow below it. I didn't want to take these off of their thing, their backing, so I left them on there to do this. So I'm just inking it, and now I'm just going to flip the whole thing right over and press it down onto my muslin right in the center. And these stamps are amazing. They're a little pricey, but they are really good quality and I absolutely love all of the designs. So once I have that all stamped out, I am gonna let it fully dry and then I'm gonna add some Mod Podge to the front of my piece of wood. And then I'm just gonna lay my muslin down on it and then just smooth it out, make sure that it's nice and even. And as you can see, my wood isn't perfect and that's okay. Next, I'm gonna take these little furniture tacks and I'm gonna put one in each corner of my muslin. I'm just using a small hammer to bang them in and then kind of holding it with my finger as I went. I'm gonna do that to all four sides. And this was just a, a piece of scrap wood that I just happened to find and I figured I could turn it into something really cute. It's a little wonky shaped, but that's okay because I really liked the way that it looked and I wanted this project to kind of have a rustic feel. So once I had all of those in, I'm just going to take my antique wax. I'm going to go around all of the edges and that is it. I love the way this project turned out. It was so super easy and it's adorable. And you could do this with just even a stencil instead of a stamp if you don't have one. And you can do this on any piece of scrap wood that you have. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it inspires you to make one. And as always, don't forget to spread the chaos.